There are some terrible misconceptions in society that Parkinson's disease is incurable and that the symptoms associated with it are caused by death of the dopamine producing cells in a gland of the brain called the substantia nigra, even though medical research proved this wrong long ago. 200 years ago, in fact, Dr. James Parkinson himself published autopsy findings that revealed spinal curvature, abnormalities at the C1 and C2 vertebra traumatizing the brainstem, and muscular rigidity throughout the body, particularly around the area of the neck and shoulders, caused every Parkinson's symptom. And I have personally proven this to be correct by achieving very quick success over Parkinson's symptoms by dealing with these three problems along with the stress and anxiety that originally provoked them. Here is just one example of that success. My name is Cheryl Cohn. I was diagnosed November, December of 2007 and my neurologist is Rachel Saunders Pullman from Beth Israel Medical Center in Manhattan. What's your worst symptom? Probably how slow I am with everything. It takes me forever to do anything it feels like. Well, you say your feet kill you. The bottom of my feet hurt. Ah, underneath your feet? Right, the okay. soles. Okay. Like they say sense of smell is a very large part of Parkinson's. I don't think I've had a sense of smell for 16 years, 15 years. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just go for a walk so I can get you on camera walking. I said go over to the gate and then turn left and walk along there. Now turn around and come back. and come back inside. So it's not real walking problems, it's just a robotic walk, what I call a robotic walk, there's no arm movement in it. go. Have, have some fun. Bye. Have some fun. Enjoy it. That's it. Enjoy yourself. And enjoy it. I, I want to hear that laughter. <laughs> Wait, I can't look over there and watch Okay, come to me. Dog to me. Okay. That's brilliant. Oh, well, that'll, do. Yes. that'll do. That'll do. Okay. Now, how long has it been since you've jogged like that? A couple of it's years? Be years. 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 So, you've, this is only more or less day three. Feel any better? Yep. I, I feel much better now. You feel more relaxed or freer? And energetic. Energetic, more energetic. Has 
the uncomfortable feeling, the pain underneath your feet ever gone through this week at all or, or subsided at all? It's been better than it has been for months. Months, okay. And when you started jogging on Tuesday for the first time in like a couple of years? Right. it didn't hurt. Your feet didn't hurt underneath? Oh, okay. Um, your sense of smell came back on the Tuesday as well yeah. for the first time in 15 years? Yeah. So you're, you're happy with the program so far? <laughs> and you would recommend the program for other people? Definitely. Definitely. All right. Okay. First of all, how do you feel today as opposed to how you felt before I started? Terrific. Terrific? Mm -hmm. Terrific. Jeffrey, well, from your observations, what have you noticed? I'm just very happy that she was able to be receptive and to believe in you and um, to actually go through it and realize that there are other ways to do things yeah. that work. You know. That work, yeah. And it's not and difficult. I'm nervous that you're leaving tomorrow <laughs> because now I'm in charge. <laughs> I'm giving this toast today because she smelled with her nose for the first time properly in 15 years really? today. Really? She drove through the town down there and she said, Is that food I can smell? It's by ideal it's snacks? Not. Yes. It smells like popcorn all the time you go by it's Buttery, greasy. It's and I'm just very proud. You know? I am. Well, this toast should be for Noel also. Yes. Of course, yeah. without Noel, none of this would have happened. I think you're going to have to move in full time. <laughs> Please understand, overcoming Parkinson's disease is far from an easy task. The complex assessment procedures that I use delve very deeply into the physiological functions of the human body and even into sleep patterns, suppressed grief, anxiety and emotional disarray. If you have any questions in your efforts to try and regain your health, Please don't fail to email them to me and I'll do my absolute best to help you.